Okay. Last but not least, we have our foot. So this is a superior view. And for ID purposes, I'm just going to turn it to a lateral view. So what we see laterally is the calcaneus bone, making up that posterior and inferior bulk of the foot. Directly superior to it, you have the talus. See here? The navicular is slightly anterior to that bone. And then the three bones that I like to think articulate with that anterior surface of the navicular are your cuneiforms. So shifting it again, we have a medial, intermediate, and lateral cuneiform. And then the fourth, if you like to think about it that way, is the cuboid of that row. So that's the cuboid, lateral, intermediate, and middle cuneiforms. Moving distally again, we now have our metatarsals, and they're numbered from the big toe being number one and your pinky toe being number five. So it would be one, two, three, four, and five. And now each one of the digits are going to have a proximal, middle, and distal phalange, each one, with exception to the big toe, which you guessed it, just has a proximal and a distal. So now I'm just going to quickly review it again, but this time from the medial aspect. We have our calcaneus shown right here, our talus, our navicular bone, our medial cuneiform, intermediate cuneiform, lateral cuneiform, and the cuboid. And once again, we have the first metatarsal, the fifth metatarsal, and our proximal, middle, and distal phalanges, with exception to the big toe, which is just the proximal and the distal phalange.